In the seventh round with the 235th pick, the Colts select Zaire Franklin, linebacker, Syracuse. All right, this pick is near and dear to my heart. You guys know I'm a huge Syracuse guy, so I watched every single game of his career. And I'll say this about Zaire Franklin. You are not going to find anyone with higher character than this kid. He's an amazing kid, amazing human being, three-time team captain. He was a team captain his sophomore year. That is rare. He's an incredible leader with unmatched character. He's a film room guy. He really cares about the game. He wants to be great. He called the signals on defense for Syracuse from his sophomore year on. He has a really high football IQ. He will absolutely destroy offensive tackles with a simple shoulder thud. Gets off blocks, makes tackles versus inside zone reads. Reads his keys well, understands blocking schemes and all that's from film prep. He does a ton of that. He has a good feel on blitzes, will adjust angles when he blitzes to tackle runners. He played the mic all four years at Syracuse, so I expect him to play the mic for the Colts. More than adequate reading route combos and zone coverage. And that's another thing, goes back to film and study, which is really important. You have to be devoted to football when you get in the NFL, otherwise you're not going to make it. One of the more instinctive linebackers in the draft, he has a really, really good feel for the game that goes back to the high football IQ and just understanding what teams are trying to do to their defense. Has the ability to become a linebacker in the mold of former Cowboy Anthony Hitchens, which everyone wanted us to draft. He's basically a carbon copy of Anthony Hitchens based on all of his traits and everything. I think that's who I see as a good player comp for him. And again, a lot of Cole fans, including myself, wanted us to sign him in the offseason. And I think Zaire Franklin is a younger version of him. Whether or not he develops into that kind of player remains to be seen, but he's got all the traits and he certainly has the work ethic and the character to be a, a serviceable NFL player and one that could possibly start down the road. Some of his drawbacks, coverage is really his biggest issue. He's quick to flip his hips and can get turned around. That leads to easy catches out of the backfield. He overruns plays at the point of attack because of his aggressiveness and his want to. That's an effort thing where he's just playing so friggin' hard he's trying to get to the ball and he'll overrun it. And that is one of his bigger issues that I saw at Syracuse and something that he needs to work on. He's not a true stack-and-shed linebacker. He's not that strong. He's got good size. He's 6'240", ran 4'6", so he's got good speed. But he's got to get better at stacking and shedding linemen and do a better job of that and improve on that with coaching, hopefully. And another issue he has, and I saw this a lot at Syracuse, he's too easily picked up by smaller backs when he blitzes. He's got a really learn how to overpower smaller guys, get around them and get to the quarterback when he's blitzing. Because if you don't get there on a blitz, I mean, you know this, Luke, and we've seen this in the past with our defenses. If you don't get there, it leads to big plays. So he's got to work on that and get better at at really getting to the quarterback when they send him. And that's something I think he can improve on. And again, as you go on in these rounds, you see these players, there's glaring deficiencies that you'll see on film when you watch them that they have to get better at but with most of these guys I think a lot of it can be coached out of them and this kid is another kid that's coachable wants to be great high character captain all that stuff athletic aggressive all the traits that we said Ballard was looking for smart loves the game film room all that stuff intangibles that make up a player these guys pretty much all have them and Zyre Franklin has them in spades again I'm biased I watched him for four years and I kind of got to know him a little bit so I I know what kind of kid he is and we're getting an incredible kid that'll bust his tail for this organization promise you if he's not on the field in the base defense or the nickel defense he will be on the field for special teams because he just wants to play football and he will be a great special teams player (laughs) 